Jesus is famous in his teachings for saying that the pathway to a closer walk with God will take you in the opposite direction that you would have expected. As someone said, if we're to live as Jesus would teach us, the way up is actually down. And greetings, friends. This is Pastor Jeff Johnson with St. John's United Church of Christ in Orangsburg, Pennsylvania, with my weekly devotion. It's always good to be with you. The story's told of a guy who entered a contest to see who was the most humble. When he won, he was given a badge of merit, but then he wore it and was disqualified. Of course, there is no such contest. It's often a good thing to recognize people for their hard work and service. Uh, I was a, with a volunteer organization once that had an annual banquet at which awards were handed out to those who served. But one of the members of this organization never attended and I asked him about it. He told me that it just didn't feel right to him to get recognized for trying to serve others. To be humble means to serve quietly, uh, without the attitude that communicates that it's all about me. Don't worry about being perfectly humble, though, of course. Uh, that, that you just can't do. We certainly do appreciate uh, a thank you now and then. Uh, but what we do in service to others is for God. Therefore, we're not really needing accolades, accolades or awards. As it is with so many of life's values, Jesus lived and preached humility. Here are these words written about him by the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 2 verses 6 through 8. Who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Jesus taught over and over that the real joy, the riches of life, so to speak, come to those who serve quietly and genuinely. His point was, most surely, that the way up is actually down. The first shall be last, the last shall be first, he often said, and also he said, for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Humility is powerful. Humility shows the genuine truths of the faith that we profess as Christians. Humility in action, to my understanding, is the most powerful evangelistic tool. It proves the old phrase that actions speak louder than words. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to see how we can practice and live the powerful principle of humble living in a way that truly gives you all the glory. Amen. As I said earlier, it's always good to be with you. I hope you have a good day. I hope that uh, maybe I'll see you Sunday at St. John's United Church of Christ where we worship in Oral Rigsburg at 10 a.m. Would love to see you in person. But if not, you can join us on Facebook. Until then, this is Pastor Jeff saying keep looking up. Have a great day.